Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the regular meeting of the Swamp Village Board of Trustees for January 10th, 2022. First meeting of the year. Right? You didn't have one while I was going for it. Correct. Okay. Um, first order of business is uh, to have, have you please rise and we'll pledge allegiance to our flag. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, any revisions to our agenda this evening that anybody knows about? Uh, executive session for legal. Okay. I that's it on there, right? Or is that the contract? The contract matters legal, yeah. Okay. As long as it's on there. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. If not, next item, uh, public comment. We have an audience tonight, which is great. <laughs> Does anybody like to say anything? Hello? Uh, not yet, anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm proud, proud of uh, all that you're doing. <laughs> well, keep an eye on us. Uh, item number five on the agenda, approve and accept the minutes from our Wednesday, December 29th, 2021 meeting. Um, you have a copy of those in our packet. Yep. What's your pleasure on the minutes? <coughs> I would make that motion. And I'll second. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded to approve and accept the minutes from our Wednesday, December 29th meeting. Uh, any discussion? No. Nope. No. No discussion. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 No opposed. Carried unanimously. Uh, item number six, approve and accept our village warrants through Thursday, January 6, 2022. What's your pleasure on the warrants? I move that they be approved. And I'll second. Moved and seconded to the warrant, uh, that the warrants be approved and accepted. Uh, any discussions, questions on the warrants? Adam, you're letting us down here. You usually have questions. Oh, so no, I am pretty straightforward in these. Pretty, I agree, pretty straightforward this week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that being said, <laughs> all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. No opposition, that is approved unanimously. I don't remember seven, but we're right along. Uh, we have a police update from our new chief, Matt Sullivan. Uh, I guess you're up, Matt. All right. Welcome. Thank you. In the month of December, the, uh, the Village Police Department responded to 74 incidents. Out of those 74 incidents, there were four thefts, 24 traffic enforcement contacts. One of those was a DUI. Uh, three motor vehicle complaints, four welfare checks, one arrest for a domestic assault, nine citizen assists, and three citizen disputes. And that was the uh, activity for the police department in sum for the month. Okay. I don't know if there's anything, if anybody has any specific questions or? Anybody? Public? Wanna? No? Well, are we doing any speed control at this point? I know I was asked that the other day, so. <laughs> yes, so. Silly. Out of the traffic contacts, um, out of the traffic contacts, there were 17 warnings issued. Uh, out of those, there were seven of them for speeding. And then there were also three tickets issued. There is a little disparity in the numbers that I'd need to dive into a little deeper because we're missing a few. Okay. Um, but it may just be a fact that they weren't entered into the CAT RMS system, so it didn't report back out. Um, but they are out there. There are officers who are, <coughs> who are engaging in traffic on a regular basis. Okay. And my impression, I, I have a very positive impression so far. There's, uh, you know, there's at least three uh, young officers who are um, really interested in learning and engaging, and uh, they seem dedicated to both traffic enforcement and drug enforcement work. 
Uh, and so I've, I've been very impressed so far. Again, I'm still getting my bearings as far as uh, learning what the police department's up to, um, but uh, I, I am very impressed. Um, you know, for me personally, at, at this stage, because I'm only a weekend, you know, one of the things that I, w I would like to look at, and I took a preliminary look today, as was at policy. Um, there are some, the, the police department has some very good policies, but to go through those thoroughly, review the policies that are in place for the police department, um, look at training for the police department, and then the staffing issues associated with the police department currently. Uh, we're down one position, and um, it is, the, the police department operates at a bare minimum, so there, there are issues with that, associated with that as far as coverage goes for shifts, uh, and I've learned that already within my first week. <laughs> so it's something I need to take a look at. I have act actively uh, been engaged in looking at recruiting uh, and there have been, we have a few people in the process right now, I want to say three or four, um, who, are, who are looking to join at least on a part-time basis. Cool. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> item number eight, our biggest item that I see this evening is approve and adopt the Village of Swanton 2022 uh, budget as presented. Uh, I missed the last meeting, but it looks like Lynn has addressed it was, all that you guys. It was intensive. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I would like to make a motion that okay. the budget, as presented this evening, uh, be approved. Okay. And I, I, have, a, I have a comment. <coughs> it, it appears to me, but after reviewing it very, very carefully and that sort of thing over the last two, four weeks, um, that the budget as proposed keeps our services at about where they are this past year or so. And I think that's a good thing. I think that some of the, uh, the increases, obviously, and everybody knows about fuel price, by crisis, I, I think, 50% increase over the past year is hard to take. And that was, remember, actually two years ago, we're sort of at that same price, or maybe three years ago. And that's one of the reasons why our budgets last year weren't very big. They hardly had increase at all. That's because gasoline had dropped by at least one third. Now, of course, going from two dollars thirty something to three thirty something, that's a 50% increase, and that <clears throat> is part of the problem. And of course, we're trying to keep our people, and I, I know that the staff looked at salary levels and that sort of thing with, with uh, a fine tooth comb. So, okay. with that in mind, open it up for others. Lynn, do you want to add anything on that? <laughs> I would comment if I could. She's there. Look at that. Did we lose her? Oh, she's, there she goes. Can you guys, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, the only change really was when I went through and fine tuned, like the overtime um, and like vacation pay for our staff. So that's the only change from the last budget that you saw. And with this budget, it does bring us to, I go to the tax rate. We are going to be, with this budget, um, an increase in our tax rate of 50 or 80 cents on the grand budget. Repeat that, when going to be just uh, just under eight cents on the grant list for a tax rate increase. Okay. Did you add that in this one? I don't see it in this last. So if you go. Page 21, Reggie. Yeah, page 20, 21. 8.97. Yep. Yep. So it's a proposed 
proposed uh, tax rate of 0.9594. Oh, there's 21. <clears throat> okay, got it. Yep. <clears throat> And then if you go to the next page, which is the water rate. You'll see in the box at the bottom is the proposed um, increases in the water rates for 2022. And the same on the following page for the sewer rates. Okay, you've got that fine, fine tuned now. Okay. And you're comfortable with this, Lynn? I am. Uh, you know, following up on what Eugene said, uh, increases, you know, in what we're seeing for fuel, uh, maintenance supplies, uh, just getting tires. We've got, you know, departments that need tires for their vehicles. Those were all huge increases this year. Uh, what we're seeing in the electric department is we can't get street lights right now. We also are having trouble with transformers. We've got stuff that's been out on order almost a year, and we don't have a delivery date yet. Sure, as your transformers. <coughs> Serious issue. <coughs> okay. You know, I just one quick comment. I'd like just to back up what Eugene said. We've always had very conservative budgets for 20 years here. This one is conservative as it can be. There are increases, but they're minor, actually. They cover and ensure that we're getting the service that we're all expecting. And I, um, I fully support what we've done and feel that um, Swanton is presenting a very good and prudent budget. Yeah. And I wholeheartedly agree with both of you. Yeah. Um, I commend Lynn for the, the painstaking uh, number crunches that she had to go through because it wasn't easy, I know that. Um, but, uh, you know, I really think at the end of the day that Swanton Village is, you know, we're, we're setting Swanton Village up so that nothing is lost. You know, nothing is lost, and that's the key, especially in these times. So. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. So we have a motion on the floor to approve and adopt the budget for 2022. <coughs> uh, all those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no opposition. The motion is carried unanimously. Uh, Keeper. I don't think anybody have any questions. You know, no, you don't have the budget with you, so you don't have any questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, next on the agenda, any other necessary business? Who wants to start? Just my word of the day. Kindness. <laughs> Be kind out there. It means a lot to a lot of people. Show a little kindness. Gene? Just be aware of COVID problems. I don't think we're making much headway at this time. You know, I even have colleagues that are working in this area. I have one person on the Pfizer team that I've been in contact with. And this is serious right now. We have about as many incidents of sickness that we've ever had over the past two years. And I, I hope we can, I, I was hoping we could head it off six months ago. We weren't able to. And as we speak, this thing is changing. It's adapting to its surroundings. It's mutating maybe more than once. And if we don't get a handle on it pretty soon, it's really going to start to affect our economy. And I can't speak to that personally because I don't, I don't deal with that sort of thing. But Adam does, and he sees a, a problem with supply. <clears throat> and this could be serious. 
I don't know about the construction industry. I've heard it's a little better, but I can't comment. I, again, it's, I don't know. Maybe Neil could. So but it's please, by supplies. please be careful. Yeah. yeah. Chris. Um, I only want to mention that Eugene, being a chemist and having worked in the, the uh, um, pharmaceutical industry for years, he would know what he's talking about. So let's listen to him. Um, I, I'm, I'm so pleased that our schools are open and our kids are going to school. I understand tomorrow they're closed, but it's because of temperature, not because of, of sickness. And I think that's a very positive thing. I have grandchildren and, and uh, I think they benefit from being able to be in school and I hope that can continue. Um, as far as the village goes, our latest snowstorms, the pieces that have been happening around, it looks that the village has done a good job. The streets are safe. Um, we're all trying to stay warm. I think it's uh, another kudos to our to our street department. Other than that, uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have. Can I go first? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have a couple of things I'd like to mention. Uh, first of all, I, I just returned last Thursday from a holiday trip and uh, uh, first thing I'd like to say is I'm glad to be here this evening because I don't know if any of you watched the news but last Monday night in Fredericksburg, Virginia, I-85 was closed and I was in the middle of that mess. Mm -hmm. So like you, these fellows say about our, taking care of our roads up here in Vermont, it's, it's really appreciated after you go through something like that. But, uh, but while I was gone, I got a mailing uh, from an anonymous viewer. Uh, I haven't been through it completely, but I have some concerns as to our meeting of the 19th, uh, our second meeting ago, about our smart meters. And he says there's uh, health-related issues with these meters and just to let them know that didn't identify themselves, but uh, uh, we're aware of that and uh, VEPSA is aware of that and we're definitely not trying to do anything that would endanger the health of our, our uh, meter holders. So uh, that's uh, one thing. Uh, the other uh, update on the Riviera Hotel, I know David's going to like to hear this. So. Um, we have been trying to move along with this project, but this is so frustrating. Uh, there's brownfields issues, as we've said in the past. We've got two agencies that we've been working with that promised us funding for the testing and the cleanup, and neither one of them have come through yet. And uh, we're, we're considering using some of the ARPA money uh, for that cleanup, or at least to get it started, uh, but it's it's moving, but just barely. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try to like I shouldn't say light a fire under this, cause, but uh, try to get things moving uh, with that. Um, we've got some other options, but. Uh, uh, there's a possibility we might suggest using some ARPA money uh, for that cleanup uh, because it's it's getting old old fast. So, but those are the two things that I would like to bring up. So I'll leave it up to you, Reg. Okay. You want to say this one? <coughs> more? Just about the ARPA funds, or no, no, oh, other business, yeah, other necessary business. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, so somehow I completely forgot that uh, Thursday, I think it is the 13th, we're going to have a joint meeting yep. with the select with board yeah. to have a discussion about uh, ARPA funds. Uh, we wanted to have one with both boards to have a discussion about what, uh, what they have planned, what we have planned, and then we would have a public meeting to get other uh, the community's input. Yeah. So everything that we've been hearing from the league and everything else, they Basically, they're not telling us to move fast, just slow walk this thing, yeah. uh, get as much input as we can. 
but we felt prudent that, uh, to sit down with both boards and at least get information from both of them, uh, both of us, and then uh, have a public meeting uh, at a later date. So what time's the meeting? Seven o'clock here. Seven here. <coughs> public meeting? What's that? Public meeting. It's going to be, yeah, well, it is because it's two boards, but yes, it'll be a Zoom. And you've got, it's the same Zoom as this? Same, yeah. Okay, so I have to make sure I remember uh, how to copy that over. Again, based on, I, I hate to interrupt, but based on what I was just talking about, COVID-19, we should be very careful about having a group of people more than 10 or 20. So that's, yeah, that's one reason why we had the Zoom aspect to it too. Absolutely, I so. mean, maybe we should, maybe it should be just a Zoom meeting for the public. Yeah. That's a possibility. I, yes. I just point, just throw it out there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And then. Uh, Otherwise, I may not come. So the last meeting, <clears throat> I showed a picture of something pretty gross that we pulled out of the uh, that we pulled out of the uh, lift station for the sewer line. Up on the uh, uh, by the boundary bus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or, uh, no, uh, Don right, Don Bells. Don, Don Bells. Bell. So <coughs> in the past month, we had three uh, uh, issues down on Spring Street, and it's coming from. Uh, it's coming from Stearns Court uh, and Wheel Around, but it's been three times in a month we've been down there, and it's the wipes. Uh, it's the uh, 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 grease from cooking and that kind of stuff. So uh, we printed up that flyer that I showed at the last meeting, and I gave uh, Dean about 50 copies of that. He's going to go around and post them at the houses just to make people aware not to flush stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean... They say flushable, but they really should not be. Yep. And what will happen is, I mean, we get we get the word from uh, a resident that their uh, their sewer doesn't seem to be going properly, and if you have a, a bathroom in the basement, that stuff is going to come back at you. So just yeah. wa watch it. You flush. I'll be it. screaming because it doesn't go away automatically. It has no. to go somewhere. Has it affected? It doesn't disappear once you flush it. <coughs> so. And that's all I got for other business. Okay. Um, so I guess we, we need a motion to for the executive session to discuss the contract matter. Does somebody else want to say something from the audience? David? Just, just the, hey. the Zoom contact, will that, will that number be put out? Or? Yep. It's already so it'll be on our website and I'll put it on Facebook but I'll confirm that with the town tomorrow mm -hmm. okay to see because you figure with you, you this board right here and then you have just as many for town so there you're at 10 you 11 people so yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll confirm it tomorrow and I'll post it on our website good thanks Dan and yeah, thank you Reg for getting those flyers out there because Again, I'll go back to what I said in the previous meeting. If we can make a whole bunch of them, put it in everybody's bill, make sure they read this stuff. Yeah, we thought about putting in bill stuffers. But some it's people are just getting electronic billing and stuff. So. Yeah, I know. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about that some more. Yeah, we will. <coughs> Maybe it'll clear up. Yeah. But I know the last, the last time we had the issue, the uh, dean went door to door, and it seemed to help the problem. Good. Okay. okay. Uh, that being said, we all set, David. So the other person that's on is Dean or uh, Dylan. Dylan. She saw it. Okay. Just wanted to make sure she had who was all in attendance. Okay. Yep. Okay. So motion. I make a motion to go into executive to set executive session to discuss contract matter. So I second the motion. Okay, the motion been made and seconded to go into executive session to discuss contract matter. Uh, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried unanimously. We're in executive session. Okay, we're out of executive session. We just had some discussion on contract issues, didn't make any decisions. 
Uh, and I think that is all the business we have for this evening. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn this regular meeting of the Swanton Village Board of Trustees. So moved. Second. Uh, moved and seconded that we adjourn this meeting. Uh, all those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion is carried. Uh, we are adjourned. Thank you for your attention this evening. <laughs>